So the next uh, item on our agenda is Convention and Vi Visitors Bureau. Uh, Mark Kalitri and others uh, to present to us an uh, update from the Convention and Visitors Bureau. The purpose of what I wanted to come today to do, and I'll be very, very brief, is just we've talked about some specific things as we've uh, been presenting this last year. And Chris Smith has been talking about the pipeline of business for quite a long time now. But as you start to get the overview of what we're doing, I want to kind of give the whole picture of what, what we've been doing at the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Kind of putting it in perspective about tourism, we're responsible for sustaining 7.3% of the salaried employment here in Claremont County. And when you add up all the sales with all the restaurants and all the different supporting services, $524 million in 13. And what you're looking at here is a current calendar of what the CVB has supported and been responsible for this year in our hotels. Now, obviously, on the top, there's been some overflow with like Jazz Fest or the Flying Pig. Those weekends, our hotels are already going to be full, so we step away from those weekends and pursue other things. But as you can see, literally every month, we have activities going on and booked at our hotels and using our restaurants and attractions. And so basically what our big picture plan at the Convention and Visitors Bureau is, is to do some additional development, additional community investment and revitalization of some key assets to help fill in these gaps. So one of the new things that we have is our new soccer development. And just to kind of put that into perspective, we've been talking about this a little bit. It's 13 full-size, 110-yard fields, so bigger than football fields, so they'll be full-size. And the King's Hammer Soccer Group has guaranteed 16 weekends of events. So that'll be spread out all through the year. 65,000 room nights will be generated over five years. Mm. Five-year impact of $28 million. There's nothing else that we have going on in Claremont County that's going to generate th that many room nights over a five-year period. They're estimating somewhere between 70 to 90,000 folks coming through each year visiting this area. We're already working with UC Claremont men's and women's soccer team and also the main campus as well coming down here. The second focus, and we've been talking rowing, but we've kind of expanded that vision into the whole East Fork State Park, and that should be our convention center, so to speak, here in Claremont County. So our wakeless launches are in. We've put those all together. We have eight. Nobody else in the entire world has eight brand new wakeless launches except for us. We also uh, have just won a bid for the geocaching Olympics next year. So these folks will be going all over the East Fork and Claremont County uh, with their phones doing geocaches. And uh, James Barger's in Wisconsin right now at a convention. Uh, we've got some bids for some lacrosse and other events. And I have Amy Brewer with us, the Director of Operations at the Red Barn. And kind of what she's working with James on is trying to fill in those other 16 weekends. So we've got some lacrosse. We're bidding on some other things. And Amy's been instrumental in getting this project done. Do you have any comments, sir? Just happy to be a part of the growth of Claremont County. Looking forward to this. You know, it's not ideally it's not just a soccer complex; it's a sport <coughs> complex mm -hmm. with the option to, to do a multitude of things. So happy to be a part of it. Groundbreaking again next week on the seventh. So very excited about that. The beach house is uh, fully constructed now. They are planting grass seed as we speak, and it has a May first completion date. It's a beautiful facility, and. Uh, just out of the flood zone. We just had a test of it just a few weeks ago, and we came within about three feet, three or four feet. But so it's, uh, but it is uh, able and constructed to stand the, withstand the flood. So that's important. And again, just putting it in perspective of what we're trying to do. There's jobs, taxes, wages, and that sales impact. And most importantly now, you saw that calendar from the original slide. Now, we overlay this soccer 16 weekends, plus the additional things that we can book, plus the East Fork groups. You can kind of see now that we're creating a, a market for new demand for new hotels to be built, new attractions to be built, and, and we're bringing in new customers every day. So that's my story, and we're going to stick to it. So. Very good. Thank you.
Any questions, Bob? No, that's awesome. Very I'm, good. I'd be, I'd be glad to see every block filled. Yes. Thanks for your work. Good job. Anything else, Mr. Rabel? Nope. Okay. Well, that thank concludes. You much, thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh, that concludes our informal session, and uh, thanks for being with us, and God bless.